people have the right to do what they're going to do, provided it doesn't hurt other people. And I guess they have the right to do that too, as long as they're willing to accept the consequences or whatever the case may be. And so sometimes all the prevention techniques and everything that you do in the world isn't going to necessarily stop your son or daughter from trying drugs and alcohol. And then maybe them being some, you know, snow, uh, snowball build up from that. And I got to trust me as a parent myself, that answer sucks. And I really <laughs> wish there was something more concrete. Do this. And right. sort of going the flowers in the attic route, which is <laughs> right and for younger people that may be listening, sort of locking your kids in the attic <laughs> their whole life, which is going to not have good results for them and for you once they get out of there. Um, you just cannot, you know, bubble wrap your kids out of this deal. But what you can do is encourage open and honest dialogue, real fact finding, right? Not the, not like, well, my friend read in, you know, High Times, right? That's the marijuana magazine for people that don't know. Um, and whatever the case may be, like real research, talking to real people with real honest dialogue on it can go a long ways in means of prevention. Mm -hmm. You know, as well as, of course, the classic encouraging them to get into what are your interests? Let's get you into some clubs, groups, activities that support that. So hopefully you can find, you know, again, every teenager is going to look for something to get into. Right. This is sitting still and calm with themselves is not really a thing in the teenage world.